Krishna is telling such a wonderful chapter, so request me three times. So this is the third time Arjuna is requesting Krishna. Madad Ganu Grahaya Paramam Guhyam Adhyatma Sanyitam Yetva Yoktam Bachastena Mohoyam Vigatomama. Arjuna said, I have heard your instruction on confidential spiritual matters, which you have so kindly delivered unto me. And my illusion is now dispelled. So after seeing the Vibhuti Yoga, after seeing uh, the entire, I mean, Krishna beholds the entire universe in him, isn't it? But still, Arjuna wanted to see how Krishna created the universe. So 11.1 to 11. <coughs> oh, lotus side one. I have heard from you in detail about the appearance and disappearance of every living entity as realized through your inexhaustible glories. So those who dwell in glorifying the Supreme Personality of Godhead, definitely they will get the mercy of the Lord. With His mercy, they will be able to enter His own world, Goloka. Otherwise, the reverse will happen. We will be entangled in Janma, Mrityu, Jara, Vyadi. O oh, greatest of all personalities, O oh, supreme form, though I see here before me your actual position, I yet wish to see how you have entered into this cosmic manifestation. I want to see that form of yours. If you think that I am able to behold your cosmic form, O oh, my Lord, O oh, Master of all mystic power, oh, then kindly show me that form. See here what happens. <coughs> It is uh, Arjuna is telling, if you think that I can behold, because it is not that easy to see the uh, Vishwarupa Darshana of the Lord. Extremely difficult, right? So Arjuna is first telling, if you think that I will be able to. See, in the first chapter also we saw Sanjaya sitting in Dhritarashtra's palace in front of Dhritarashtra. How is he able to see what is happening in the Yukta Kshetra, Kurukshetra. So there we learned that Vyasadeva gave this divine vision to Sanjaya. <coughs> Once because Sanjaya favored something for Vyasadeva, so as a return, Vyasadeva gave him this Jnana Chakshu. Sitting anywhere, whatever he meditates upon, he will be able to see physically with the same eyes, jnana sachakshu, divyam. It becomes divyam. Okay? Same way here. Arjuna is saying, see, I know very well Krishna, a normal human being with a normal eyes, nobody will be able to behold your universal self. But if you see, I can. That means what? Indirectly he is telling, if you are showing your vibhuti, sorry, if you are showing your universal form, you will also have to give me this divine vision. See, in Brahma Samhita 5.38, Brahma is glorifying the Lord. That time he also says the same thing. With the normal eyes, we cannot behold the universal form of the Lord. He is telling, Prema Jana Churita Bhakti Vilochanina Santa Sadeva Kritayeshu Vilo Kayanti Yamchyama Sundaram Achinta Gunaswarupam Govinda Madi Purusham Tamakam Bajami. What is telling O Govinda? Uh, you are the Supreme Personality of Godhead and you are a Shyama Sundara. That is a loving form everyone wants to see. Okay, so with us inconceivable and innumerable attributes whom 
the pure devotee wants to see. So a pure devotee is not interested in seeing the vibhuti, ya, the cosmic form. They want to see that Shyama Sundra form, three, three pangi, the, in three places he is carved, right? With the flute in his hand, with the peacock feather in his head. So every devotee wants to see that only. Now Krishna also will say, tell, normally Krishna doesn't show this form to anyone. But why? Because nobody can understand that. We Nobody has that much potency to hold that. <clears throat> so now the Blessed Lord says, My dear Rachuna, O Partha, behold my opulences, hundreds of thousands of varied, multicolored, like the sea. Whatever you wish to see, you can be seen all at once in this body. So now this body is going to hold everything of all universes, not one universe. This universal form can show you all that you now desire as well as whatever you may desire in future. Everything is here. That means the Lord indirectly is telling you can see yourself in me, all the people who are there in the school chetra. You can see them also in me. And not only that, you want to say what you're right now thinking in your mind and what you're thinking about the future. So that is why we say, no, we should not think anything negative in our heart because the Paramatma is residing. Kridaya Vishta, the Paramatma Sarvasya Chakam Kredisan Nivishto Matas Mritir Gyanam Apokanamcha. Like he's sitting in the heart, wishes only good for this soul. But we don't realize that. Why? Again, we don't have that Gyana Chakshu to see the Paramatma residing in our heart. So we are not we, but he will know what the soul wants in future. That is the reason. Yam yam vapi smaranabhavam tejatante kalevaram. Whatever you wish for future, I will bless you with that. He saw, right? Krishna blesses because he tells, oh, you are my dearest child. You want to become this. I will definitely give you this blessing. So when your soul leaving, I am blessing the soul. Whatever you are thinking, you will get the same in your next birth. So it is said that we only decide our next birth. We cannot blame anybody. Because of you, I am this. Because of him, I am that. Finally, if nothing works, we blame the Lord. Everything because of you, you only do bad things with me. This is what we tell the Lord. But the Lord gives only what we want to be underlined. But you cannot see me with your present eyes. Lord himself is telling Arjuna, therefore, I give you, I give to you divine eyes, I, which you can be called my mystic opulence. As I told you, Prema Anjana Churita. The eyes filled with Prema, filled with love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <laughs> After hearing this, Sanjaya could not behold himself. He started telling Adhritarashtra, Sanjay Vacha Eva Mukta Tato Rajan Maha Yogeshwaro Hari Dardaya Masa Parthaya Paramam Rupam Aishwaram Sanjay said, O King, speaking thus, the Supreme Lord of all mystic power his Yogeshwara, isn't it? Uh, mis, mi, what is yoga? Mystic power. Mystic power is Ishwara. So who gives this mystic power? Ishwara. Ishwara Paramakrishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadiradi Govinda Sarvakarana Karanam Right? That Lord, there's no cause beyond him or equal to him. He is the, the Supreme Personality of Godhead displayed his 
universal form to Arjuna. See, Sanjaya is also so blessed. And we are also, if we can visualize, definitely because of Arjuna, we are getting this opportunity to see the universal form of the Lord. To hear, I mean to say, see, uh, somewhere uh, I read, I think, <laughs> we don't see Vaishnavas, Vaishnavas, Parama Vaishnavas with our eyes. We see Parama Vaishnavas with our ears. Okay, so here also, same way, we are hearing what else we need. Shunvatam Swakatam Krishna Punyachavana Kirtanam Daily hearing you are Shavanam Punyam Kirtanam. There's no other Punya better than this. But Shunvata Swakata Krishna. You all learn Krishna Katha every day, Krishna book. There's no a better pious activity than hearing this. So don't think we are only hearing this universal form. Definitely not. We are seeing with our ears. Okay, now, uh, yeah, Arjuna saw in that universal form, unlimited mouse, unlimited eyes. It was all wondrous. The form was decorated with divine, dazzling ornaments and arrayed in many garbs. He was garlanded gloriously and there were many scents smeared over his body. All was magnificent. All expanding unlimited. This was seen by Arjuna. You know, after reading this, I remember once Gauragopaladasa Prabhu, you all might have heard him. He's so famous, his car name, right? He once came to Bahrain. He took one workshop. I am not the body and the soul on that. You won't believe that time the Shia Sunni fight was going on. No one could even, you know, peep outside the window from home. But in Iskon, always we had this place, right? In Iskon temple, this workshop was going on. <laughs> that time, uh, Prabhuji made us realize that, you know, all of you close your eyes. Imagine Krishna is around you. And all those things, Krishna's Nirmalayas, Krishna's that Chandan, the smell, every devotee in that hall could feel Krishna's presence. They could see Krishna, means he was making us, he was, you know, it's like a meditation sometimes. People guide and meditate. Similarly, many devotees could feel the aroma. So it is said, you know, to become Krishna Bhakta, we have to smell the Nirmalaya Bhagavad's Lord's garlands. We have to, that, you know, we get that Narsima oil. We have to smell that. These all are none other than Lord Himself. Nama Rupa Guna Leela. Bhagavan comes in this form. Bhagavan's name is none other than Bhagavan. So after reading this certain for 11.10, I just remember that. So if we all think that yes, Krishna is there and we are able to see him and read his purpose, you we can really, really feel and realize that Krishna is not very far. He is in our heart. If hundreds of thousands of suns, 11.12, rose up at once into the sky, Imagine, one sun will not be able to see directly. <laughs> Hundreds and thousands of sun. How will it be? They might resemble the effulgent of supreme person in that universal form. 11.30. <laughs> At that time, Arjuna could see in the universal form of the Lord unlimited expansions. That means he saw all the avatars, all those 24 avatars which we accept in his call, including the first three Purusha avatara, Chiro Dakshaya, Garbo Dakshaya, and Karno Dakshaya Vishnu. He could see all expansion of the universe situated in one place. 
again and again, every day I say that one place is the first canto, first chapter, Abhijna Swarat. Although divided into many, many thousand. Though he is divided, he is Purnamadam Purnamidam Purnat Mudachete. Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishtate. He doesn't diminish even point, 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 zero on millions or millimeters of uh, weight. He will not diminish. 11.14. Then, bewildered and astonished, his hair standing on him, whose hair, Arjuna, Arjuna began to pray with folded hands, offering obeisances. To Supreme Lord. If we see, we will not know where we are standing, what we have to do. But this is Arjuna. So even after seeing the universal form, he's prayed obeisances to the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna. Arjuna said in 15, My dear Lord Krishna, I see assembled together in your body all the demigods. See, we can see here in this picture <coughs> and various other living entities. I see Brahma sitting on the lotus flower as well as Lord Shiva and many other stages. See, all these stages, just now we saw Aditya, Marutas, all of, all of them, the four Sanat Kumaras, Sana, Sanatana, Sanaka, Sanadi, Manu, Ichwaku, everybody. We name anybody Sarva Bhutani. Everyone Arjuna could see in the Lord's form. And divine serpents, including Adi Sesha, Vasuki, right? Vas uh, in yesterday's chapter, we saw no Sarpana Vasuki. In all the serpents, my I am the Vasuki. We saw in that tabular column format. You remember? Serpents, Vasuki. I am Vasuki. 16. O oh Lord of the universe, I see your universal body, many, many forms, bellies, mouths, eyes, many bodies means all many expanded without any limit. <clears throat> there is no end, there is no beginning, and there is no middle. That is, you are all, everything. Everything begins with you, everything ends with you. In between, you maintain everybody. <laughs> Nothing moves without your permission, sanction. 17. Your form adorned with various crowns, clubs, and this is difficult to see because of its glaring effulgence. The Bhagavan himself will come, he is the sun. For all the universe, so how much effulgence he will have, which is fiery and immeasurable like the sun. Can we measure the sun? Wherever we go, we feel the sun is coming with us. So, 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 so many, I mean, immeasurable kilometers far away, still we are able to see. That means how big the sun will be, isn't it? The star, little smaller than the sun, we see from here as a dot. But sun, how big we see? So how big it will be? How many times it will be in reality? 11.18. You are the supreme, primal object. The very first object. You were there. As I told, there was no time when you were not there. You are the best in all the universes. You are inexhaustible. You are the oldest. You are the maintainer of religion. The eternal personality of Godhead. Satchit Anand. Right? Bhagavan is Satchidananda. 11.90. You are the origin without beginning, middle and end. Why is it said without beginning? Because it's like, you know, when we say a circle, and we may say I'm starting from here. But every point in the circle is the starting point. So there is no fixed starting point. So we'll be only roaming around. 
same way lord does not have any beginning middle or end you have numberless arms and the sun and moon are among your great unlimited eyes your own radiance you are heating this entire universe because of this heat we get the rain because of the rain we get the grain so if that heat is not there shashi i am what is it bhumi rapuna lo vayu kammano buddhiryevacha agankara iti yamme bhinna prakriti rashtata so he is all my pancha mahabhuta <coughs> he is the sun and he is the moon 11.20 although you are one you are spread throughout the sky and the planets and all space between in every universe there will be planets in every universe again there will be sun and moon and how many universes we don't know innumerable yesterday i said told you every universe has got a brahma so when our brahma got pride when he went he saw so many brahma sar city oh great one as i say we called it this terrible form i see all the planetary systems are perplexed so nobody is in because see in his form in his that rupa he is seeing all the demigods he is seeing all the planets so all will be bewildered you know what is happening because they are also sitting there and seeing the same lord showing the universal form so they all are bewildered perplexed 11.21 21 all the demigods are surrendering and entering into you they are very much afraid and with folded hands they are i am not able to see there one minute ah uh, no my translation is different my translation in my book same book as it is only but different edition 11.21 slight difference is there so don't get confused and reading 11.21 as in the ppt it is not fully visible for me although you are one you spread throughout the sky and the planet it is 11.21 21 all the coast of demigods and surrendering before you and entering into you some of them very much afraid are offering prayers with folded hands hosts of great sages and perfected beings crying all peace are praying to you by singing the vedic hymns e krishna when krishna showed the universal form and the devatas in his form only started uh, saying the vedic hymns we can't even imagine right how it happens 11.23 oh my ti amruvan all the planets with their demigods are disturbed at seeing your many faces eyes arms bellies and legs and your terrible teeth and as they are disturbed so i am yesterday we saw that brahma mohan vimogal leela remember brahma was bewildered tene brahma hriday aadi kaviye mukhyanti ek surya ka first canto first chapter first verse in that sutta goswami is explaining you know when shubhadev swami goswami said this prayers he is saying even the brahma other devatas they all get disturbed bewildered to see my form 10.24 all pervading vishnu i can no longer maintain my equilibrium at least arjuna could withstand for certain time not at all even imaginable for others seeing a radiant colors fill the sky and we hold in your eyes and mouth i am afraid he wanted to see first but now he is saying he is afraid 
all the sons of Dhritarashtra along with their killed allies, kings and Bhishma, Drona, Karna, and all our soldiers are rushing into your house. So whoever is present in the Kurukshetra war, everybody except the Panchabandavas. Except those five, all others are entering Krishna's mouth. Here we get another hint. Here, you know, I have heard from our, you know, elevated devotees. Here itself, he knew that their children, five of them, Panchapandava's children, they will be not surviving after the war. Arjuna could feel that because. Only those Pancha Pandavas five were saved. Obviously, Arjuna also knew his son Abhimanyu was also not there afterwards, did not survive. I see that some are being crushed between your teeth as well. 11.21 As the rivers flow into the sea, so all these great warriors enter your blazing mouth and perish. So if they all have died, who, who, how are they in front? It's just because Arjuna asked Krishna in the beginning, right? Killing all these people we out of five questions. If we all remember, <coughs> first question, compassion. Second, the he told Arjuna, there will be no, sorry, Krishna told Krishna, after killing everybody, there is going to be no enjoyment. Krishna is not sin. That is why now Krishna is telling. It's not at all a sin you are not committing. Already I have killed all of them. Though Krishna told him that you are not going to kill their soul. Soul is eternal. Only their body will perish. That, that's also there. Another thing he is saying, they all have already died. We are only Nimitta Matra. I am Nimitta Matra. Savaya is Sachi. Just now you read the uh, shloka, right? So I am making you only the cause. Because I want my devotee to get the, uh, uh, what to say? My, my devotee has to be praised. Oh, Arjuna killed everybody. That is what I want people in future to say. I don't want them to say Krishna king. Okay. So he's saying they all have already been perished. Nobody is going to survive. <laughs> the blessed Lord said, Time I am destroyer of the bonds. And I have come to engage all people with the exception of you. That means the Pandavas. All the soldiers here are both sides will be slain. They all will be all will be killed. Nobody will survive other than the five Panchabandavas. Yudhishya Bhima, Arjun. Who are they? Yudhishya Bhima Arjun Akulas, right? <coughs> Eleven point thirty three. Tasmatvam puttishva yasho labas labasva jitva shrutun bukshva rajyam samritam mayai vaite nigata purvam eva nimitta matram bavasavyasa ching. Therefore, get up and prepare to fight. After conquering your enemies, you will enjoy the flourishing kingdom. They are already put to death by my arrangement. And you, O Sarsachin, can be but an instrument in the fight. So what is the meaning of Savya uh, Sachin? Uh, that is a great warrior. Seeing any direction, he can shoot the arrow in any direction. It's not necessary he has to see back Turn 360 degree and then shoot. So Arjuna had this ability to shoot an arrow 360 degree. So Krishna is telling 
I'm making you only the nimitta matram. I'm making the cause. That's it. The Blessed Lord said, all the great warriors, Drona, Bhishma, Jayadrada, Karna, are already destroyed. Simply fight and you will vanquish your enemies. So don't worry. Get up. Fight for me. <coughs> Sanjaya said to Dhritarashtra, 11.35, walking after hearing these words from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Arjuna trembled, fearfully offered, offered obeisances with folded hands and began falteringly to speak as follows. Means he spoke the truth. He did not utter, right? O Rishikesha, Rishikesha, controller of all senses. The world becomes joyful upon hearing your name. Because Nama Rupa Guna Lila, all are Krishna himself, your name, and thus everyone becomes attached to you. Although the perfected beings offer you their respectful homage, the demons are afraid and they flee here and there. <laughs> they are afraid because they know very, very well that the Lord knows that what are all the impious activities they have done. They also know they have to face the consequences. So that is the reason they get afraid. They know what they're going to face now, isn't it? So all this is rightly done. 11.37 <laughs> Oh great one, who stands above even Brahma? You are the original master. Why should they not Offer their homage up to you, O oh, limitless one, O oh, refugee of the universe. You are the invincible source, the cause of all causes, transcendental to this material manifestation. Cheto Chetanasana, you are the cause of all causes. Nityo Nityana Chetano Chetanasana. 11.38. You are the original personality of Godhead, the oldest, the ultimate sanctuary of this manifested cosmic world. You are the knower of everything and you are all that is knowable. Nothing else to be known in this world. If people know you are the supreme personality of Godhead, the absolute truth, that is sufficient for them to elevate themselves, to free themselves from the material contamination. You are the supreme refuge above the material world. Bhagavan is not subject to triguna. Rajotamo um, Sattva. Bhagavan is beyond these three modes. That means he is Tattva with. No, uh, there is another word. I'll tell you. Guna atit, yes. Guna atit, guno ke apar. So Bhagavan is guna atit. All limitless form, this whole cosmic manifestation is pervaded by you. 11.41 and 42. I can in the past address you. O Krishna, O Yadava, O Saka. It's a verse also, right? Saka Samiti. Without knowing your glories. Please forgive whatever I may have done in madness or in love. I have dishonored you many a times while relaxing or while lying on the same bed, eating together, sometimes alone and sometimes in front of many friends. Please excuse me for all my offenses. See how wonderful uh, devotee Krishna Arjuna is. That is the reason he had the closest association of the Supreme Personality of God and Krishna. Arjuna himself is saying, because Arjuna is the uh, Nitya Siddha. Who are Nitya Siddhas? Who serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead 
in Goloka, in that eternal spiritual world, Arjuna has come from the Goloka, right? Vishaka Sakhi. That is the reason he is even able to describe seeing all these things. Otherwise, Bhagavan will not give darshan to anybody like this, no? 11.45. After seeing this universal form, which I have never seen before, I am gladdened. But at the same time, my mind is disturbed with fear. Therefore, please bestow your grace upon me. And this is to underline again, reveal again your form as the personality of Godhead. Oh, Lord of Lords, oh, abode of the universe, please come in your 200 form. That's all. Even when Krishna appeared in the jail in four form, in the form of Mahavishnu. Okay, Deviki Maya is telling no. Krishna, no, 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 no. Anyway, everybody is looking for you. Kansa is waiting to kill you. If he knows the Lord has taken already birth, he will not let spare you. See, they know he is Krishna, God. Still, that is not his mother's mind. So she is telling, please come back to your original form. Same way here, Arjuna is also telling, oh Krishna, come back to your original form. 46. Oh, universal Lord, I wish to see you in your four-armed form with the helmeted head, with the club wheel, conch and lotus in your head, hands. I long to see you in that form. Mahavishnu. Now he is telling, he is requesting to show the Mahavishnu form. You see, Arjuna is giving instructions. That's what Arjuna said. I kept on giving you instructions. Again, now also he is giving him instruction. Show me Vibhuti, show me universal form, show me Vishnu form. <laughs> oh, best of Guru Varyas, no one before you has ever seen this universal form of... Like, this is... Bhagavan is telling. Because Guru Varyar, who is Guru Varyar? Arjuna. So Bhagavan is telling Arjuna, best of Gurus, Best of all Guru Varyas, Arjuna is the, the best. So no one before you has ever seen this universal form of mind. For neither by studying the Vedas, nor by performing sacrifices, nor by charities or similar activities can this form be seen. Krishna himself is saying, saying this form can be seen by many austerities and many reading the scripture, but no one has seen it till then. Only you have seen this. So a very, 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 very special devotee, isn't it? That is why in the last shloka it is said, Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna Yatra Partho Dhanurdara. Where Krishna is and where Arjuna is. There the jeep, the victory will be. Right? That is the reason. Arjuna is not an ordinary person. 11.49. Your mind has been perturbed upon seeing this horrible feature of mind. Krishna himself is saying horrible because all those who have done the impious things also he showed, right? They are going inside. Very difficult to digest that, right? No. Now, let it be finished. Okay, let us forget that. My devotee, be free from all disturbance. With a peaceful mind, you can now see the form of you wish to see. What you wish to see finally? The form of <coughs> your, you decide. Whatever form you want to see, you will see now. Uh, 50. Sanjaya said to Dhritraj, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna, while speaking thus, by telling whatever form you want to see, Arjuna, you can see, by telling this only, he displayed his real four-armed form. And at last, he showed him his 
to armed for thus encouraging the fearful arjuna because arjuna was so fearful now to see so to pacify him to give him peace he showed the two handed form when arjuna the saw krishna in his original form he said seeing this human like form so very beautiful my mind is now pacified and i am restored to my original nature so the lord says in the next the blessed lord says my dear arjuna the form which you are now seeing is very difficult to behold this is more difficult because it is so attractive even the demigods are ever seeking the opportunity to see this form which is so dear sham sumra form my dear arjuna only by undivided devotional service agaituki apratigata yesterday we saw can i be understood as i am standing before you now and can this be seen directly only in this way can you enter into my mysteries of my understanding so nice to read how many times we read is less 54 bakyat ananya ya shakya aham evam vidorjuna nyatum dashtum cha tatvena praveshtum cha parantapa my dear arjuna only by undivided devotional service can i be understood as i am standing before you and can thus be seen directly only in this way can you enter into the mysteries of my understanding you know krishna is so beautiful that's the reason the gopis tell brahma blame his creation because he has given this eyelids which keeps blinking they say whenever we see arjuna uh, uh, sorry a uh, gopi is telling brahma oh brahma whenever we see krishna we are not able to see him without blinking our eyes so you have made a big mistake you should not have made this eyelids at all because krishna you know very um lovely he immediately disappears for how long he be in front of us we don't know so we don't want to waste even fraction of a second but why did you give the silent okay so he is so 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 beautiful mat karma krit mat paramo pad bhakta sang varjita ka nirvairagya sarva bhuteshu yasa mam eti pandava <coughs> my dear arjuna one who is engaged in my pure devotional service free from the contaminations of previous activities and from mental speculation who is friendly to every living entity certainly comes to me so what krishna is telling one who is free from who is even who becomes a uh, vishuddha sattva who comes beyond the sattva guna who is free from the material entanglement so only that particular devotee can come to me till that time they are entangled in the within the material nature that's a three guna they will not be able to achieve me come to me arjuna request krishna to show me singular self form 1 to 4 drashtum ichami te rupam i wish to see that's a big question analytical question comes on this why did krishna show the universal form so many reasons are discussed 
Finally, as we saw yesterday, Paritrana is Sadhunam, is not the reason why Krishna to come to give pleasure to his devotees, right? Here also, similarly, after analyzing so many reasons, the one reason is found logical, that is Arjuna request. Krishna, please show that form. I want to see that is the reason Krishna showed him that form. Lord Krishna describes his universal form in 5 to 18. Yeah, sorry, 5 to 8. Bahuni Adrishta Purvani. Adrishta, how much ever one tries to see, they cannot conceive this. It's beyond conception. Unless and until the Lord Himself gives the Jnana Chakshu, Arjuna's vision of the universal form. Arjuna tells you, right? Aneka Adbuta Darshanam. What an Adbut Darshan it is. Cannot be described in words, he says. So 9 to 14 is the uh, description of the universal form. Arjuna experience, Arjuna's experience. How does Arjuna feel after seeing the universal form? 15 to 31. Drishtim Nadindami Shamacha Vishnu. That is, he is saying, you know, like he is comparing Vishnu form. He is saying that all the devatas, Brahma is also sitting, Vishnu is also there, all the serpents are also there, and the Shiva is also there. So that is what 15 to 31. Krishna's reply. Krishna says, no, I am Kalosmi. 32 to 34. Kalosmi loka chaya krit pravardhu. So if I want chaya, I can annihilate the entire universe in a fraction of a second. I don't have to do anything. I have to only think. That's it. Same he can create also. He doesn't, he just glances and the universe is created. Arjuna's prayers. Sagatam Bita Bita Bhita Prana Pranamya 11.35 to 46. <clears throat> so Arjuna, after seeing this, he's praying. Oh, Arjuna, the effulgent. Cannot be withheld, right? We saw that. So many thousands and millions of suns like that. So he's saying he's not able to withhold that form. And he's praying the Lord. So and when the Lord is showing everybody entering into Lord's mouth, right? That time. Pure Bhakti needed to see Krishna. An undivided devotional service and undivided devotion. He signed three uh, verses. 47 to 55. Bhaktiyatva ananya yasha sakya. I treated you as my sakya, anya. Not only sakya, many other forms I treated you. Very, very different, different forms I treated you. And he is feeling sorry for that. He is telling sorry to Krishna that he has treated Krishna in different forms. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. You know, today we 